Does this always have to end up in a big giant dance battle? What I love about this franchise is it's also kind of a time capsule for what's hot in music and and a lot of like big jams but also some stuff that people haven't heard before. Does this do the do these movies kind of closely align to what you guys like to listen to? From a creative standpoint, I think the movie really does represent what's hot musically and the soundtrack is always, you know, almost just as successful as people who go and see the movie in and of itself. I personally listen to very eclectic sounds and I think that's what um, makes the people who create Step Up uh, so interesting is that we don't listen to the mainstream things mm -hmm. so that when we deliver it, it still makes the mainstream somewhat um, interesting. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Mm-hmm. And what was the last thing you listened to on uh, your iPod or? You know, I, I, to be honest, I listen to what's current. Yeah. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have um, a set. You know, whatever's on the radio, if I like it, I listen to it. And I get over music pretty fast. So yeah, yeah. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty fast. Yeah, well, fair I'm enough. switching, yeah. You obviously uh, sing a lot too. Are you working on music right now? I have my single, Dragon, That's What You Wanted. It's out on iTunes now. Mm -hmm. I've been in the studio. I have songs ready for a release. It just depends on timing. I just got a song placed in a movie that I'm in coming out on Lifetime July 19th. It's called Expecting Amish, which is uh, a little bit different than Step Up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds a little, just a little different. Yeah. Well, um, Storyline, I yeah. think, will be different. Awesome. Congratulations on Thank that. You. That's really cool. I feel like audiences have kind of grown up with you guys, and it seems like you have grown up a little doing these films. Um, do you feel like your personalities and your characters from these films um, kind of, in a way, work their way into who you are day to day as a working person? I don't know if they work their way into me. I kind of work myself into them, if that yeah. makes sense. Because, um, it I mean, the character is me. Uh, it's not even heightened, I guess. It's just when I'm goofing around. Mm -hmm. It's just me, so, yeah. I've learned a lot being a part of these films because you grow up with the different cast and the different crews, mm -hmm. and each movie has its different challenge, but you're also at a different season in your life yeah. when it happens. So I've been able to encounter some really great moments with people because yeah. of this film, and I'm thankful for it. Yeah. In these films, for the big finale numbers, um, we're given the impression it takes about a night to throw them together. Um, can you guys kind of describe? Who said that? She's <laughs> like, joking. I'm joking, but no, it, it seems like in the in the films how oh. how the oh. they, the choreography <laughs> has to true, come though. together, <laughs> right? And so I'm it's, just wondering how much stuff like changes last minute, or how much is kind of when when you actually do throw them together on film, how long it takes, and, and what kind of goes into that those changes. For previous step ups, we had several months to prepare. For this one, we had less than a month. I was actually working on a different project and did not learn my section of dance until the night before. So in the movie, when we see that they only have three hours to throw together a routine, legitimately speaking, it happens. <laughs> and you have to make it work. Yeah. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitBix on Twitter or visit HitBix.com.